everything I've heard from all educators yes. is you've yes. got to get yes. them reading early. Reading early is so important. In February of 1994, Laura and I were driving on West Clearfield Street, trying to find St. James Church on a very cold, snowy, icy day, because we we're going to a funeral of a very good friend who also was our best man. And we finally found this wonderful old stone church with a charming graveyard and a rectory across the street. And we thought this is a very special place. So little did we know that eventually we would be quite involved in what would become the St. James School. My mother and father have always been all in for the causes they support. And I think it makes them look for a cause with its approach to addressing real needs. St. James certainly is that. It pulls in young people from all the neighborhood who would not have an opportunity to go to a fine school. It offers a number of programs, not only the school work, but also woodworking and gardening and music. And uh, the fact that they must be in, in outfits and just to be there and, and witness it, the enthusiasm and the environment of the whole school is just amazing to me. Fourth grade is so important because I can learn new things that I will learn in upper school and I can make new friends and maybe we can like, like we do like a lot of routines that help us understand the work. The impact that fourth grade is making at St. James School is that we're able to help students sooner academically, social, emotionally, and we're able to make um, stronger family connections. At St. James is better because you have like ceremonies, like we win awards, and we wear like the perfect uniform. Over the past two years, I think the greatest success um, besides the academics that I've seen is their social emotional awareness. So we're able to acclimate them sooner to the St. James way. We're able to teach them coping skills, how to handle stress better, how to interact socially with each other, solve conflicts on their own. I would say that my mother and fathers and my sisters and I know that education is the key component to improving the lives of um, folks in the underserved community. I imagine that our fourth grade students will be able to reach their goals and beyond. So I see them being accepted into great high schools. I see them being successful in high school, being able to pursue either the career route or attend college. Um, I hope that my fourth graders are successful young adults who are social, emotionally aware of themselves, who are successful academically and who give back to their community. It's a wonderful school. And I, I don't think that you, if you don't experience and go out there and visit the school, then it is something that you're really missing. That's right. To uh, observe that lunchtime with the excitement, the announcements, and they look forward to class and all. They, they, they all seem to, to love what they're doing in the school, being, being a part of it. So yes, everyone should try to see the school. That's what really turned me on. Mom and Dad, what a special night. I'm so glad we're here, although virtually, um, to celebrate this occasion and um, honor you and the impact you've had in uh, North Philadelphia. Congratulations. We love you. We are so proud to honor you tonight, and we are so grateful for everything that you have done for the St. James community, and especially for fourth grade. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Buck, for opening up St. James and the fourth grade, because if I didn't, if I didn't have you, then I wouldn't be able to go to St. James school. Well, we'd like to thank you very much for this honor. We appreciate it. We did not expect this, but uh, appreciate what you've done for us. And we're, again, very happy to be in a part yeah. of the school. And we wish you great success in your campaign. And uh, perhaps we're going to work toward that third grade, which is all important. 